Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 6th of November. I'm James Spann. Another beautiful day today. Rain returns tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Much colder Friday and even colder air next week. The coldest so far this season. Let's dive in and talk about things. Upper look this morning, troughing over Canada. That'll be pushing a cold front down here tomorrow night. Early this morning, we got 30s and 40s on the board. Colder spots are Fort Payne and Cullman at 37, Birmingham at 46. We'll warm up nicely today with low to mid-70s in most locations this afternoon. Today should be the warmest day out of the next 10 days, so enjoy it. There's the watch warning map. Flash flood watches west of the state for parts of North Texas, Oklahoma, Northwest Arkansas, and a few scattered winter weather advisories up north. Got a marginal risk of severe storms later today for parts of West Texas, New Mexico, Arizona. We're dry. Tomorrow, maybe some thunder for the southern quarter of the state with that front tomorrow night, but no chance of any severe weather. And again, don't expect any thunder for the northern two-thirds of the state. And day three, which is Friday, much of the country in cool, stable air. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Bigger numbers, North Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. In Alabama, amounts generally under one-half inch with that front coming in here tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06E run, 4 o'clock this afternoon. A zonal flow and a dry air mass. Sunny highs today, 72 to 75, a beautiful day. But tomorrow, here comes the cold front. Clouds move in during the day and rain begins. Maybe in the morning over the far northern part of the state. This is noon, showing the main band of rain still over Tennessee and Arkansas. 6 o'clock. Band of showers pushing down through North Alabama. Midnight, showers down into South Alabama. So it's kind of a quick, hit, quick hitting little batch of rain. And again, amounts should be on the light side. Moisture should be limited. No severe weather, no thunder. And Friday, the sky will be sunny, but the day will be colder. The high Friday between 50 and 55 degrees. This is Saturday. We start the day around freezing. But the high should be around 60. Bright sunshine. Beautiful day for the Alabama-LSU game in Tuscaloosa. 2.30 is the kickoff there. Sunday. Start the day in the 30s. The high will be in the mid-60s. Again, lots of sun. Now, this is Monday. And you can see a big old 10.46 high pushing into the Dakotas. And uh, this run all of a sudden picks up all this moisture. And look at Tuesday. The GFS is showing a big rain event with sleet and freezing rain for the northern part of the state. But let me just stress, this is a total outlier. Let's look at the reliable European, and it shows nothing. Other runs of the GFS have shown nothing, and our forecast will reflect nothing in terms of precipitation. We think the cold front comes through in dry fashion, but uh, it's going to be cold. Uh, Monday, the high will drop in the 50s. And Tuesday, parts of North Alabama could easily stay in the 30s all day. How about them apples? Wednesday, very cold trough for the east. And Wednesday morning, we're going to be way down in the 20s. We could see teens for the colder pockets and the high in the 40s. Look at the anomalies for Wednesday. The eastern half of the country, uh, maybe some record lows in here. That's very cold for November. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday the 15th, a little trough on the Gulf Coast there. But again, the air is dry, and that looks uh, with, like we'll have no rain. European uh, output here, the ensemble of the rain for Birmingham. Uh, this runs so far just out to seven days, and this is mainly the event we'll see tomorrow and tomorrow night. You could see about a one-half inch with that. Numbers off the European. Look at the drop next week on Tuesday. It's got a high of 42 and a low of 23. The GFS is even more extreme. It's got a high of 33 on Wednesday. We're not going that low, but I do think we'll see highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s. By Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, it'll be just like the dead of winter here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog the next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.
KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.